Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Teams Talk. Hey, listen, if you are a returning subscriber and you already come over here and get down with me, you already know what to do. I don't have to even ask you, right? But if you just happen to be walking these YouTube streets and stumbled upon the T Velocities, T Talk, and you enjoyed the commentary, hey, please don't hesitate to become a subscriber. I won't mind at all. In fact, today I have a special pricing for you. It's free 99. Yep, I said it. Free 99. It doesn't cost you a thing. But hurry up before it expires. <laughs> no, go ahead. Thank you so much. But let me get right into the story and stop being silly. You you guys know about Lexus Wear? Where is Alexis Ware? Well, I did this story two weeks ago, right? And it's still going on. So I decided, let me follow up on this Alexis Ware story because this is strange. It didn't strike me right in the first place with the mother and all of them. So I decided that I would watch this Ratchet TV media. He has it on every night. And people have been visiting his platform, family member, friends, baby daddies, aunts, uncles mother cousin brothers you name it they there on his you know on his platform so i every now and then i'll pop in there and i'll listen to a little bit of it and try to make heads or tell you guys to be honest i cannot even wrap my brains around this story this story is getting crazier and crazier by the day i just can't i, I just don't know what's happening here but in my heart and heart i do believe that these people do know what happened to her and they're just not saying you know i don't know if they're just not saying because they are afraid what will happen to them or they really just don't care i think it's a lot of people in on this from what i gather from listening to these people on this young man's platform you know now i at one point i put tj which is the youngest uh, baby's father, the little boy's father, who she went to meet and they vanished and she vanished from there. I did think he probably has something to do with it, but now I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think um, perhaps he don't know what happened to her, but he, he continues to say she was talking weird. She was talking like she was paranoid. The, their last couple of conversations just didn't seem right. She was talking as if somebody was after her. Some crazy stuff was happening to her by other people and her family members. And that she was just afraid and she had to get away. And she talked about black magic, voodoo, and drugs. Somebody had gave her some bad drugs. So much stuff, I'm telling you guys. It's so much happening with this story. It's kind of hard to keep up. But so now I really don't think him or the daughter's father has anything to do with it. Now, I do believe that her friend, Alizé, when she came on, I watched her. She been on several people platforms. She seems nervous. She seems scared. She A case of anxiety. She's probably paranoid and freaking too. I believe she know exactly what happened and she's just afraid to tell the true story. So she's saying anything that she thinks will cover her, but it doesn't look good for her. Like I said, you guys, you would have to go follow that. It's a mess, a big mess. However, I want to get to this part, the voodoo part. They said that she wanted to take up black magic i think voodoo or witchcraft they all went in the same and maybe not i don't know i don't fool around with it but if she did and she got involved with that and didn't know how to use it is a strong possibility that it backfired on her somehow you know i don't know again i don't use that stuff i don't fool around with it i know people who have used it and it have has worked in their favor but I don't. So I don't dig too deep into that shit because I don't care about it. Anywho, they said she had start practicing that. And so and I don't know if she was doing like a love potion or some type of potion to get rid of these men out of her life who was bringing her, you know, a lot of stress and harm somehow. I don't know. But that's 
that's one thing then they talked about that she had a bag on her head and i don't mean a brown paper bag i mean a bag like when you owe somebody some money because you have taken their products and you didn't bring them their money back for their products now they looking for you i heard some people in baltimore is looking for because she was traveling up and up and down you know carrying their products getting rid of their products and then didn't return the money so perhaps they put a bag on her head and i mean a number bag a money bag to get rid of her i don't know that's one story so you don't play with people like that if you've got their product you do what you have to do with it and you give them their money and according to her friend alizé she know how to get the bag a lot of people liked her she was teaching her how to make money i guess in the dance world in the product world if you know what i mean by product i don't know doing hair makeup or whatever she calls her a mentor now i don't know what type of mentoring alexis was doing to alizé but she was very close to alexis supposedly and she, alexis had called her and told her you can have all of my stuff you can have my clothes my car my belongings you can have it all i'm getting out of here so i don't know if she was trying to escape whatever was going on in her world at that time and she didn't give a damn she just dropped the kids off with tj where she knew that they would be safe or they would get to their her mother or the little girl's father because they have two separate fathers the little boy is tj's son and the little girl is sosa's daughter so those are the two men that she had children by and at this point from what i gather they have nothing to do with her disappearance they did say she was acting really strange she had called both of them several times talking out of her head her family did state that they had spoken to her and she was weird last time they was around her she was very paranoid then remember i told you about the black car that she was so paranoid about the black car that she called the police and when the police came and checked out the black car or suv it was an suv and they left she jumped in her car with her two children and took off to meet tj that that was the beginning of the story and from there she vanished but i do remember the little girl saying that she thought she saw the black suv parked across the street from the 7-eleven supposedly they had met at that's strange too so i don't know what happened after that from the 7-eleven but alexis disappeared right so back to the friend alizé she's acting weird she act like she knows something she nervous she's going on podcast after podcast saying what she know and she always appeared to me to know something behind it because she's afraid what will happen to her and her child now a lot of the people that have been on these platforms this ratchet tv media platform ah i don't know they seem a little shaky but some of them seem like they are legit in what they're saying or that's the way they want it to appear to us the audience right but you'll have to go follow ratchet tv media because like i said there's so many twists and turns um so if the girl is still amongst us maybe she don't want to be found or perhaps she could be kidnapped because i told you it was strange that her mother used those words that's why i think her mother knew something when she said i believe my daughter is kidnapped so come to find out the family is not as close as they pretended they were in fact her and her mother didn't get along at all her sisters and brothers her older brother who's talking he's on a reality show but he's been on a reality show so i don't know like i said i haven't spoken to any of these people all this is from what i've seen from videos i don't know so it's alleged that this girl got involved with drugs and perhaps someone laced her marijuana 
or gave her something in her drink and she has lost her mind and could be somewhere and don't know how to get a hold to her family because she probably doesn't have anything or maybe her mind is not there. I don't know if she had a mental breakdown because they showed a picture of her on the ring camera and she was saying, telling the neighbor that she had to get away, that she was leaving. She just needed to get away from him. So I don't even know who him is, but she did say that and it was on, it was witnessed by the ring camera. So I don't know. I told you this story was weird to me from the very beginning. I just didn't feel good about the story. I just want to make sure that I kept it on the forefront and I will continue to try to follow some of it and piece it together until there is a closure to this story because I'm confused now. I don't know if somehow the young lady is not amongst us anymore of the living or she's kidnapped or perhaps she just took off. She didn't want to be bothered. She had some type of mental breakdown. Now, again, I don't know. Like I told you, the shit is getting stranger by the day when I listen to all those people. But I do believe somebody know where she's at, if she's still amongst us, or they know what happened to her. And just because we don't hear it on the news, because someone on... Um, the platform the other day said, oh, yeah, the police not talking about, you don't hear about it anymore in where we live at in South Carolina. Nobody's That's because perhaps they are investigating and they can't say but so much. So when they, if they still investigating, and I hope they are, they are gathering information that's pertinent to this story and they will bring it to us when they come to a conclusion of what happened to Alexis Ware. But right now, the girl is not, We they haven't heard anything from her. Her friend Alizé said she was mentoring her, teaching her how to get money. She said, oh, she knew how to get money. Her baby's father said that as well. Oh, oh, Lexus knew how to get money. Lex knew how to get money. The girl said she danced. She was teaching her how to dance or go get the bag. And she knew how to get the bag by any means necessary. And that alone could have cost this young lady her life if she's no longer here by getting the bag the wrong way. But you guys, I don't know. This struck me strange. I think I mentioned this in my last video that I did about Alexis Ware. This struck me strange. Alexis Ware missing is not what everyone think it is. Who wrote that? Where did that come from? I never found out where this came from. I just happened to see it when I was looking for pictures and stuff and information about it, this popped up. So this right here tells me that again, perhaps the young lady is not gone. Maybe she's out doing her thing and just had some type of mental breakdown, left everybody behind and start living a new life. Cause it's not what you think. I don't know what to think. Like I said, there's so many twists and turns, you guys. I don't know what the heck to think. But if you're following this story, please make sure you comment below and let me know what you think because I I just can't with this Alexis Ware story. But okay, anywho, let's move on. Have you guys heard about Audriana Barnes? Uh-huh. 19-year-old, another black woman murked by a boyfriend a boyfriend that was 39 years old 20 years older than her uh-huh she's no longer amongst us why because her boyfriend saw fit to take her out of this world and i don't know why it never the story never tells us why he decided to you know take her out of this world however let me tell you how they found her. They found her on his balcony under a pile of clothes that had been there for months. So her body was underneath those clothes on the balcony for months. Her mother reported her missing and hadn't heard from her in months. And when he left, because he moved out of the place, they came in to clean up. I do believe that's how the story went. 
they came to clean up and on the deck or the balcony was a power clothes and underneath there was her body. Adriana Barnes, 19 years old. Full life ahead of her, only 19. So many of these heartbroken stories are popping up every day, you guys. And the reason why I'm keeping you aware and keeping them on the forefront for the stories like Alexis where you need closure. What happened to that young lady? With this story, you know what happened. He was captured. He's booked on murder. Mm -hmm. So my prayers go out to Adriana family and friends. Sad story. Now this story, ha, ha, this one right here, uh -huh. this one right here, Predator Pastor Mary's 18-year-old girl. Uh -huh. This story right here, uh, I'm trying to figure, did this make me like uh, think of anything? Well, I'll tell you what I thought. Right here to me, this was a case of grooming. Yep, a case of grooming right in your good old church. That pastor and his congregation, some of the members, not all of the members, helped groom that young lady to marry him. Sure did. Well, let me tell you a little background about the story. So this is pastor. Mm -hmm. This is the good old pastor, Dwight Reed, who took over his father's church years ago, and he became a pastor. And because he didn't like catch this he didn't like the homosexuality that they were teaching in schools he decided that he was going to open the school himself and so he gathered his little funds together and he opened the school now this young lady right here her mother and father attended his church they are oh they are faithful members of his church they have been members since she was young when the father was the pastor of the church and handed it down to him, because I believe the mother and fathers did. God rest their souls. <laughs> but anywho, so he takes over this church. He don't like the, what public schools are teaching, and he decided our church is going to uh, open the school, got the funding to open the school, and this young lady at the age of 14 attended the school. So he was the principal, he was the pastor of the church, he was part of the faculty and the teachers and everything. So he was deep into the church, right? So this young man had been seeing this young lady every day at school, ever since she was young, 14. He said he been, he's been watching her ever since she was 14. Now that's some sick shit, but it is what it is. He told the truth. So to me, him and some of his staff has been grooming this young girl for years to marry him for his sick predator mind. He is a predator. They're grooming young girls, I believe. It sounds like to me, they're grooming young girls in that school because he's not the first older man that married a younger woman in that congregation. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's what they do. Prior to that, his father was marrying off older men to younger women. Allegedly, that's what they say. So anywho, now he's doing. So to me, this young man looked at this, this man looked at this young girl sexually for a long time until she became an age. But it also leads me, now I could be wrong to believe, perhaps he had touched her before she even became of an adult age of 18. Cause soon as she turned 18, he married her, right? So what was he doing prior to her becoming 18? That's what I want to know. Well, I may not be the only one want to know because now they have a petition. And what is this garbage in Utah? I think it's in Utah or some little, yeah, they have a petition going on because they want him to be investigated because every member of the church don't agree with this. But you had a, a lot of members of the church that didn't see anything wrong with this. And like I said, I see a lot wrong with it because my mind is telling me, you've been looking at that little girl and you perhaps touched her prior to her turning 18. 
And that's the sick shit I don't like. Y'all are grooming probably young ladies in that church. I believe it's a, a mega church, maybe somewhat of a mega church. I don't know. I have to go back and look at that. However, that's my belief that they groom this young girl. And I'll tell you why I believe that. Because this young man has female armor bearers and follow this story. He has female arm, armor bearers. Now, I know armor bearers are normally men. And what they are, they are like personal assistants to the pastor carry his baggage, carry his Bible, you know, his little prayer cloths and all that. They carry all his goodies and they go around with him wherever he go to preach, right? So that's the armor bear. And they normally men, but this young man, this some strange, strange shit, you guys. He has female armor bearers. Hmm. So that made me think, hmm, female armor bearers for a male? Now I could see the first lady having assistance but him having female armor bearers what is really going on are those quote armor bearers helping him find these young girls grooming them helping the people of that church find these young girls and grooming them what is really really going on it's strange for men to have female armor bearers they normally have male armor bearers so that struck me strange. What positions are they playing in this sick little game? Because something else is going on. And they make, you know, it's easy for people to become a part of cults, you guys. And this is just all alleged. This is my perception. This is how I perceive this story, that it is predatory um, grooming. It is. I really do think so. And it could be like a small little cult. I don't know. Again, I haven't dug that deep. I just ran across the story and it, oh, it rubbed me the wrong way. It sickened me because in fact, when I was listening about this story, I read a little bit of uh, article about it, but when I was listening to some other videos and I listened to this man's response to the backlash that he had got for marrying this young girl, I was like, mm -mm, something is just not right. Now, this little girl, uh, no, well, she ain't no little girl. See, I always say little girl because they're younger than me. But this young lady, this young lady right here, allegedly, she didn't want to marry him. She wanted to back out of the marriage because she didn't feel good marrying him. But the people surrounding her, these armor bearers and other ladies, was telling us she had to go through with the marriage. She had to marry. He told her, you will not embarrass me. You have to marry me. You will not embarrass me. So he ordered the women to take care of her until the marriage that day. And that day, she didn't have access to her phone or anyone else except particular women that he had appointed to watch her because she didn't want to go through with the marriage and they was going to make her go through with the marriage. And that's exactly what happened. Allegedly, she didn't want to marry this pervert. So I don't know, but when he responds, he act like the marriage is so great and him and his wife sleep good at night. And why are people worried about it? But I don't know. And then there's also a story that cropped up. Perhaps she was pregnant by him. Now, I need to go back and see when did she turn 18 and match that with the amount, you know, with the pregnancy inception. I want to see that. Uh-huh. But they are, uh, they do have a petition out, you know, to sign because people were not happy with this story, this marriage. And so they're trying to actually get him on, I guess, some type of predatory charge i don't know i like i said is a sick story to me my thoughts were just that they have been grooming this young girl and they probably grooming uh more young girls in that church i don't know i do know that i did read a story or in the article it said that he had had charges from another state in reference to sexual predatory 
sexual predator, right? Something like that. You know what I'm talking about. That he had another, that happened in another state. So I don't know. I think it's a sick, sad story. And I hope if this young lady is not happy, that she will get out of this marriage and go on about her way. You know, but her, like I said, her parents, they, her parents are members of this church and they've been members of this church for years. And so even if she felt some type of way and she did say anything to her parents, her parents probably encouraged her to go through with the marriage. I don't know. You know, a lot of times churches, and please don't get me wrong, churches become like cults. Just my saying, please don't get upset with me, but churches is kind of cultish at times. Listen, I'm about to get out of here. Thanks for watching me. You know, this video is to bring awareness to our community. It's not for exploitation or meant to bring any hurt to the victim's family or friends. Please keep the family of these victims in your prayers. All information in this video was obtained through news outlet public records and is covered by fair use copyright. Please do me a small favor that I always ask. Like, comment below to let me know what you think. Even if you know anything about any of these stories that you want to let me know about, please comment below. I greatly appreciate that. And again, if you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming one. With that being said, peace. I'll see you.